All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today, we are actually looking at a pretty decent rank four, you know? Something that you might want to consider putting in your toolbox, putting it in your kitchen drawer, because we got this chef here, and he's about to cook it up. So today, we are looking at number 59, Back the Cook. So I'm assuming his, his name is Back, and he's the cook, because it just reads weird. It's like, Back the Cook? Like, what do you what do you mean by Back the Cook? Like, just stand behind him and, like, you know, he's stepping back and cooking you, like, Push him, like hold him up, you know? He's gonna trust fall on you, the cook is gonna trust fall while he's cooking. Back the cook? Like, I, I don't know. So I'm assuming his name is Back. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and look at this card. He is a Fire Warrior XC Effect Monster. Okay. Rank 4. Alright. 2300 attack, 200 defense. So, I mean, I guess you can summon him back with Rekindling if you want to do that. Because I believe he's just monsters, Fire Monster with 200 defense, which I believe he is. So there you go. Uh, 2300 attack, it's not terrible for a rank 4. Uh, it's not up to the attack barrier, but, you know, that's nice, too. You know, just 23. You can't complain with that. Uh, generic. Two level 4 monsters. So, this is where it's getting to the part where, you know, if his effect is good, he can be thrown to a toolbox because he's just a generic rank 4. I mean, you can't ask for much than that, right? All right. So, if this is the only card you control, it is unaffected by other card effects. Okay. But... Keep in mind, it's cards, not monsters. If it was monsters, mmm, ooh-wee, but no, it's cards, so that includes some background. So, he is the only one on the field. So, it's nice to be unaffected by card effects, but being only 2300 and being the only card in the field is kind of risky. Like, it really is. Like, you're pretty much just asking your opponent to be like, oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna go into, like, a Dark Rebellion and attack over you. I don't have to worry about any of your background or anything, because you don't have any, because right now, you control nothing. Uh, back is the only thing that you can control. Well, while you're unaffected by uh, other card effects, it's nice and all. You don't have anything else to back that up. So it's kind of, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I guess, I guess. I mean, being a 23 beater that's unaffected by the card effects is nice, but just, I can't control any other cards. It's like, it's like Solemn Scolding all over again. It's like, yeah, that's nice and all, but that, it has, it's my only set card? Like, no! So, mm. uh, and he got another effect. All right, once per turn, during either player's turn. Okay. You get tactics and material from this card. Destroy as many cards you control as possible, other than this card. Alright. And then this card gains 300 attack for each monster destroyed and sent to the Great Rabbi's effect until the end of this turn. So, he destroys your cards, but you only get the boost from monsters. So, you know, you can go ahead and have this and maybe like another monster and then, you know, when your opponent tries to go into like a beater that would beat over, you can just be like, alright, detach. Blow up all my cards, this one monster, I'm going to go up by 300, I'm now 26, and I'm still unaffected. And now, since I blew up my whole entire field, I'm unaffected by card effects. So, that can work, but you're still taking the neg, you know, you're still kind of hurting yourself. And I'm kind of wondering how this can be played. I'm assuming that, you know, since it does, deals, like, attack and stuff like that, maybe you can activate it during the damage step? Maybe. No, I don't think so, because I don't think the main effect is, I think it says then you gain the attack. So, it's, it doesn't have to de definitely, indefinitely deal with uh, attack. Gaining. I think the main effect is the white being then the attack gain, so I'm not sure if you get this effect during the damage step. I don't think. Maybe wrong, but I don't think so. So, you can do it like attack decoration. Your opponent attacks, and you're just like, use my effect, detach, kill all my monsters. Hopefully, you don't have any other set cards, so you're not blowing up back row, because that's, I mean, come on, like, what are you doing? Blowing up some monsters that you don't mind losing going up into attack, and then your opponent crashes to you. I'm, I'm assuming, I'm, I, that, that's another question. If Bach uses the fact to wipe the field, the field is changed, so do you get to re-declare or not? Or is the target that you're declaring the attack on still there, so therefore you still gotta go after that target? I'm not sure. Not sure. If you guys can go ahead and tell me, I'd be very appreciative, but, you know, that, that, that'd, be, that'd be pretty cool if you just you're probably like, attack, and you'd be like, use my fact, kill all my monsters, go up by attack, haha, you run into me, you're dead. So, mm. But, uh, of course, I mean, come on. You already know. Destroy your own monsters. You're like you're, you're probably like mmm, fire kings. Yeah, you can use this in fire kings. You know, and you definitely can destroy your monsters, destroy your yaksha, destroy your Baron, destroy your garunix. You know, and uh, one thing that sucks is that you know it won't be that only card you control when garunix comes back because you know, it'll be the only card you control and garunix comes back to down phase. It's like hey, it's like you know I'm unaffected by all the card effects when I'm the only card you, you can control and garunix is like I'm on the field. You control me. You're dead, back. And it's like, oh yeah, I am. <laughs> so, eh, eh. Uh, what I'm kind of wondering is maybe maybe this could be using you, Bell. I mean, sometimes we'd see decks like to use their own popping their monsters as enablers, you know, so that would be terrible, you know. Uh, popping, instead of going to Diamond Direwolf, I could possibly just go into this. 
And uh, can I let you bell with this? I don't think I would miss timing, because it says then, not, you know, and if you do, or anything along those lines. Or maybe. I don't remember which one it is for you bell. It's either then or and if you do. I think it's then I miss timing, so I think I would miss timing. Also, if you guys can tell me that as well, because I really don't feel like looking it up. I could look it up, but it's much easier for me to just put out this video and you guys tell me. But, uh... If not, then we'll just stick with Diamond Hour. It doesn't matter, but that'd be pretty interesting to have this and then have, like, you belled and this would destroy all monsters, gain the attack, and then, uh, you belled would be like, hey, I'm gonna go off, summon Terror, or destroy Terror, summon Ultimate Nightmare, you know? So, and I have Ultimate Nightmare and Bach are back. I'd be, it seems pretty, it seems pretty decent. So, uh, it's okay, it's okay. It's, it's very, it's very niche, it's very situational. Uh, I, I, I know, it depends on what situation you are in the duel, how far in the duel, I can definitely see that, uh, that first effect coming in handy, and the second effect only, you know, promotes that as well, so, you know, if they're, uh, if you're, like, late in the duel and you bust this out, I mean, you are 2300, unaffected by, uh, other card effects, you know, if your opponent is just playing, like, the Stoli back row game, and you have no cards, and you could just summon this, and your opponent's like, oh, yeah, that's fine, you know, you know, I don't want to waste, I don't have any more summon strikes, I don't have these Fiendish Chains, well, you know, it's Back is the only card. Back is the only card I control. You can't even save me. Well, you can. I'm just unaffected. You know, I just start poking you for 23. So that's pretty interesting. I can definitely see this card putting that work in the late game, but in the early game, not sure. Not sure. You know, it's just so easy to bust out a rank four that can hand, that can attack over this. It's just kind of niche. And destroying your own cards, even if you even if you want to gain the attack boost, I mean, you're still taking a neg for a temporary attack boost. It's not like the attack is permanent. It's only until the end of the turn. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about back. The cook in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week with some more card review. Thanks for watching.